What's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube. Say hello. Hi. So I actually finished my last vlog off with us going to the hospital. Are you okay now? Yes. How how okay are you? Very. Very okay. So I'm about to take him to daycare and then I will fill you guys in with what happened last week. But he is totally a-okay. Thank goodness. And by the way, if you're following along on Instagram, you would have seen me announce the new colours. Yeah, bub? When I'm at daycare. Yes. Yeah. Can you get me a new what? Oh, no. How about you wait for your birthday? No. Oh my gosh, kids. Um, yeah, how pretty is this color? I announced it on our Baseline Instagram stories yesterday. It's a new lounge drop coming to Baseline. July 29th. So yeah. mark it in your diary. He wants to get a driveway because he's got show us the rainbow bit. In those show us it in the book. He's obsessed with rainbows. And when he puts that in a new reflection, it like reflects a big rainbow. All right, let's do it. Say bye. bye. Little man is now at daycare. He's at a new center. I think I spoke about that on my last vlog. He was just coming home saying how bored he was at his last one and wasn't really connecting. And a couple of teachers and like friends that he loved had left. So I've moved him to where Sunny Girl goes and he's absolutely loving it, which is awesome. But last week, so yeah, he went to hospital and last week when I dropped him off, he just, it seemed like he didn't want to go. And I thought, oh, he must just be adjusting. And the teacher said, yeah, this is quite normal in their second week. They know now this is their new area and they've got to meet new friends and it can be a bit overwhelming, especially if they're a little more introverted. And I do think Taj, I think he's both, but I think he's more introverted than extroverted. Um, anyways, I got a phone call about 10.30 and they said he's not feeling very well. He's got a really sore stomach. And I was like, no worries, I'll come and get him. How bad is it? And they said, well, he's not standing up. He won't stand up or like walk. And I said, God, he must be in a lot of pain. And they said, yeah, he's crying like in and out of pain. So I rushed down there as fast as I could. I had my PA with me. Um, I said, can you jump in the front seat and drive when we get like on our way home because I want to sit in the back with him and make sure he's okay and as soon as I walked into the daycare and I saw him I knew something was seriously wrong like it was just so the cry it was such a different cry um so I laid him on the ground first because he said it hurt down on his lower left side so I like put my hands just down on there and, and pushed just a little bit and he just jumped like jolted from so much pain so I picked him up straight away and just like ran out the door buckled him in we went to Rabina hospital and went straight to the emergency I just it wasn't worth me going to a doctor and having him in pain for longer for them to then send him to the hospital I just I just went with my gut and they took him straight through and he was by this point like screaming in pain in and out so it would come in like waves and spouts of really bad pain it was just awful to see him in so much pain like oh I was trying to be strong for him but every time he would cry in pain like I would just hold him and cry with him I just there's just nothing worse than seeing your kids in pain like I would do anything to take it away from him but we had incredible nurses and doctors they were so beautiful with him like I'm so grateful for the work they did but we were in there from 11 a.m. until like 8 30 at night and all day he was in and out of pain he got x-rays ultrasounds different doctors looking at him they couldn't figure out what was wrong and then and in the afternoon, the doctor that had been seeing him most of the day, she predicted, like, put, this is what I think it is. I'm going to put up on the screen because I can't pronounce it. But basically, his little body must have been fighting a virus and or a sickness. And you know how you've got your lymph nodes here and then also down near your groin? This condition makes them swell up really big and it's extremely painful for adults, but even, like, worse for kids. Um, so that's what he had. And it is likely that it could happen again next time he gets sick but at least I'll know what it is and I'll probably go straight to the hospital and just get the pain relief and make sure and just double check that it is um but yeah it got to like so all day he didn't walk he couldn't roll over he couldn't move like anytime you'd try to like roll him over or anything he'd be in such pain they did blood tests and everything so basically just laid on the bed the whole day and when he had the strong painkillers he'd have a little nap and then at like 7 o'clock at night, I'd sent Steve home to have a shower and then we were going to tag team. I'd go home have a shower and then both stay the night, um, which I was dreading because three people on a single bed, not really that comfortable, but you do what you got to do. Um, and then at 7 o'clock, he was like, Mommy, can I try and sit up? I was like, yeah, if you feel okay to, do you want some help? And he goes, no, I want to try by myself. And he fully sat up with no pain. I was like, that's amazing. And he said, can I, can I try and walk? I was like, yeah. 
and he got up and fully walked and he had a um, drip in his arm as well so he's like walking around with his little drip and whatever you call that and he said I, need to, I really need to go to the toilet and he had him into the toilet all day um, and he did number one and number two which was like amazing so I got a wee sample that was fun and he was completely fine so when the doctor came back at like 8 o'clock because she wanted to keep him overnight I said honestly I would really love to take him home I think he'll be much better at home comfortable in his own bed get a full night's sleep <clears throat> And I know him pretty well. I feel like he's he's taken a turn for the better. So she was really surprised at how quickly things turned around, but just like stoked, of course. And then just said, next time if this comes up, go straight to the Gold Coast Hospital because all the pedi pediatricians are up there. Um, yeah. And he's gonna be been completely fine ever since. The next day he was like bouncing off the walls, full of energy, like so happy. So that was our very first trip to the hospital. And I feel very grateful that it was nothing super severe. I can't even imagine what a lot of parents have to go through regularly with hospital trip hospital trips and visits and you know like cancer and really serious diseases. So very grateful that it was only a day very grateful that he's okay and very grateful that we had incredible doctors and nurses that just looked after him and were so kind to him so that's our first hospital experience so i'm going to pop some photos up of us in hospital um that we posted on the gram i thought it was like i don't know in a weird in a weird way instagram and vlogging it's all like documenting your life and when he's older this will be a story that we'll tell him or he can just watch this um his first trip to the hospital so yeah He's all good. But anyways, I'm about to grab a takeaway bone broth. There's this place in Burley called Brio, and they do like this Thai green curry bone broth. It's so nice, and it's freezing today. And then I've got to go to a recording studio um, and do something. I can't say what it is yet, but you guys will find out really soon. And then I have a psychic appointment. So very keen for that. A bit nervous. I don't like live by them, but I just take it with a grain of salt, and I like to go see one once a year. And I n normally go and see someone different each year. So I'll let you know how that goes. But first... So this is what it's called, Brio, and I'll show you what it looks like. I've actually ran out of my bone broth powder at home, and it's got actual like chicken and full vegetables in there. They ask you because it's so hot, but yum, I love starting my day with something warm. Yeah. Little treat stop with wifey. These are Cocoa Whip with chocolate sauce and Kit Kat chunks. I'm allergic. Chunks. Allergic to what? What do you mean? I'm allergic. Oh. oh my gosh. And I got Oreo crumbs and cookie dough sauce. Yum. Snake. Okay, I will in a second. This is what mummy would like. Pet snake, but daddy won't let me. I love them. What else have we got? Oh. Hang on two seconds. Beautiful one at the back there. Just another one at the back there. Oh, another one at the top. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. Can you see any others? Oh, what's in here? Oh, lizards. And over here? Oh, what is it? Oh, look at all the fishies. So guys, I will tell you all about the psychic when I get home. It was a complete and utter flop, that's for sure. So we are back, got a little man from daycare. We're gonna make homemade pizzas tonight, but the psychic was an absolute flop. She had notes there that she had connected with beforehand, but she started out just asking so many questions about me, which the previous ones I've been to before don't ask anything. They just see what comes up. <laughs> He's got this new bed. Hang on, I'll tell you in a second. Frizzy's new bed and his new toy. We just went to the pet store. And this is what we got. Look, he got some. He does. Yeah, so the fact she was like fishing and asking so many questions, I was like, at one point I was like, ah, oh, is there anything coming up that you don't have to ask me about my life? And then just very broad things, just being like, you're so busy, you need to slow down. Um, are you wanting to grow in your work? Are you wanting to grow in your relationship? I was like, always, yeah. And then she said some names that were just not aligned, didn't know who they were, it just... Yeah, it wasn't good. So she pretty much said, like, you need to find someone else. Nothing's connecting at the moment. So that was a flop. Yeah, babe? But that's okay. I'll have to get some scissors stuck. I'll do it in two seconds, okay? Um, that's okay. I'll find someone else. I just like to go once a year for a bit of fun. But anyways, we're going to make some dinner and chill out for the night. And I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. 
All right, got Scooby a treat. Make him sit. Say, sit, Scooby. Sit, sit, sit. Or put your hand out like this. Sit, Scooby. Sit, Scooby. Sit, sit. 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 And sit. then say, gentle. Oh, nice. <laughs> you like <it. laughs> Good morning guys, I'm about to make a smoothie. I actually have to change a lot of my plans around this morning. I've got to head straight into the baseline warehouse. Just a few things I've got to sort out. Things don't always go to plan and I definitely get a little bit stressed when things don't go to plan when it comes to baseline, but it's out of my control. I've just got to work with what I can. But yeah, there might be a delay in one of our shipments, which is very frustrating. But in this time at the moment, we can thank COVID-19 for that and first world problems. I know it's not that big a deal, but I just hate like the thought of letting you guys down um but i'm just gonna go in today sort it all out and i also have some final samples for the collection after that that i need to approve today so that that's not delayed um we're on a very very tight ship at the moment and i mean i've said it before but that's the thing with baseline we are like i think six or seven collections ahead that's how far you have to book um to get everything made so i feel a little bit stressed yesterday just like yeah a bit overwhelmed this next two months you love that car don't you I don't know if you guys can see. He's had that car since he was one and he still likes it. Um, this next two months is a lot for me. I feel like since COVID, I've really slowed down and worked smarter, not harder. I've been more careful with my time. I've had a lot more free time for like Taj and just self-care. But this next two months, there's a lot of things launching, a lot of things happening, a lot of deadlines. I feel very my masculine energy, um, but it's fine. It's all fun, exciting, passionate things that I'm like so excited about. It's just like very tight. So it's a bit overwhelming sometimes, that's all. Anyways, I'm gonna make a smoothie. What's that, baby? Oh, you're stuck. Push it open. <laughs> I don't drink coffee anymore, but I do love the taste of it. So I'm going to make a decaf with my triple chock fudge protein powder, but add decaf coffee, um, milk, you know the drill. I'll put the ingredients on the side. You guys can try it out for yourself. decaf but do you want me to make you a smoothie i'll make you an even better one i'll make you just a pure chocolate one you want that one no baba i'm making you pancakes i'm making you pancakes come here you're gonna help me crack the eggs bring the smoothie hey hey now you can make a good smoothie right Version two, Taji's. I know I've said it so many times before, but for adults and for kids, smoothies are such a good way to get extra nutrients into your diet without even realizing it. There's no way he would eat zucchini. He hates it. But there's half a zucchini in his smoothie. Oh, he kind of saw it anyway. And he's sculling it down because you can't taste it. Zucchini is a really good one because it just makes it really thick and creamy and it's very tasteless. Avocado, I don't like, makes it really thick and creamy plus you're getting healthy fats. And then spinach, you really can't taste either. I find kale a bit more bitter, so I don't tend to put kale in my smoothies. Um, but I do love spinach in there. He's using it? That's awesome. I told you he would use it. I know. I was hesitant. I didn't think he would. Mmm. Go get your smoothie, we'll do cheers. Does this smoothie have coffee? Yeah, 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 because you like coffee. I like coffee smoothies, but not but not normal coffees like, 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 um, like at the cafe. Oh, you don't like to drink coffee. Let's do a cheers. Cheers. And then drink. You always got to drink after you do cheers. 
You can't drink all that. Reverse psychology, it still works so well. You can't drink all that. Yes, I can. Do you reckon? Yes. Huh? You can see Oh, I can see about that. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Love you. Look. See you soon. See you soon. Love ya. Yeah. Love you more. Yeah. Love you the most. Lighting in here is so bad, but I've just arrived at the baseline meeting, so I've got some new samples and stuff to go over, which I'm so excited for. So I've just arrived for our baseline meeting. I have a whole table of amazing samples. I get so excited for these meetings, so I'm gonna try on all of these clothes and go over all the details of the accessories first, then get into the nitty gritty of our plan, because I think we have a delay with one of our launches, which is, not ideal and once we have one delay it normally means a lot of other things are going to be delayed as well but it's just what it is so I just have to figure it out we're going to figure it out as of today <laughs> yes we will um but I'm going to put this in black and white because I don't want to show any colors yet some of them aren't even the colors they're just like samples of fits but this is what I'm working with today sold out of our resistance band like booty bands for so long now they just sold so quickly but we're actually changing up the design and the material and the way it's made to be even better quality um, and more resistance so that's why they've taken a little while but hopefully once they're back online we're gonna order so much stock that they're just always online and that's the same with our basics performance we underestimated how much we needed I honestly hand in my heart thought I'd ordered enough to last ages and then COVID hit so that put more delays on but our basics basics restocks um, is coming in August and I we've ordered a lot of stock and then hopefully that can just be on the website forever our actual collections they are just one drops only so once they're gone they're gone forever and it just keeps it really exciting new collections always coming and we're hoping to bring a new collection out every approximately six to eight weeks depending on delays which is really really cool um, but hopefully our plain black tights black and white crops resistant bands and all of our accessories will just be on the website at all times we just need the stock to actually come in <laughs> good morning everybody it is currently sunday and where are we going to zari's house how old is she turning five do you know what her theme is no kitchella look at your outfit decked out like my sore finger oh yeah what happened this morning um i hurt my finger and frizzy scratched me yeah frizzy took a swipe just playing but a little bit of blood, but we are off to Coachella, Steve. We are. I never thought you'd go to Coachella Didn't and you're going today. My festival boots are off. <laughs> so the theme is Kidchella. I feel like a five year old with these buns, but I actually wore them when I went to Coachella. How many years ago was that now? Three? Three, Three yeah. years ago? Um, so yeah, little girl's turning five, which means you are turning five actually, in a couple of months. I might have that. Where's your hat? Actually, I might have that big. Cake. Put your hat on. I want. I want. Oh, you had his on. I can see. Oh, there we go. Yeah. I want that big cake. Okay. And then afterwards, we actually have um, Stan, which is Steve's stepdad. He's turning 75. He's turning 75. Poppy. Poppy's turning 75. Oh, oh, look at that. Represent your baseline oh, is that hat. Barbie's present? I got them down here. You can give them to her, okay? Okay, do I have it? No, because you'll open it. Just hold it. Are you not going to open it? No. Anyways, I'll show you guys a little bit of the party and then probably wrap the vlog up. Oh my god, how epic! So cool! You wanna go on that? Oh, okay. Parents of a five year old? Hello, Locker? Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, so cute. Look at the cake, it's so pretty. Happy birthday! <laughs> Good start! Rejoicing! Oh, 